Hi there, everyone. Um, so I haven't made a video on my channel for like a couple of years. So um, I wanted to make a new video because I'm still generally want to focus my YouTube channel on health and fitness, and um, it kind of seemed to me like that was like a dying dream a long time ago, and that I was never going to actually like make this happen, but. As I've like started my career and everything, I realized that I really, really miss making videos. And I had a lot on my channel back in the day, uh, but then I took them down because you make videos and then you look back on them and then you're like, oh, that was so embarrassing. So, um, so I decided that I would try again at 25. I remember I started my YouTube channel back when I was like 21 and it's crazy how fast the time has flown. Uh, so I thought that this would be like a really good starter video because it has to do with healthy living and healthy eating so let's just dive on so it. So I wanted to make an unboxing video of a service that this is my first time trying it and uh, it's called Imperfect Produce and it's where the gist of what I've gotten from it from friends that have tried it and also the research that I've done online is that Imperfect Produce sends you produce from all around the world that doesn't make the cut for grocery stores. So grocery stores, they like to produce um, produce that is cosmetically flawless or looking at produce that they will choose it and that it's not really ugly and it doesn't have a lot of blemishes and whatnot and whatever. So, um, and then obviously not all produce is like that. So all the rejects get thrown away or they go to waste or they rot in the ba in the grocery store. I'm not exactly sure how the process goes, but um, so in order to reduce food waste, this company came up with an idea to sell these like ugly fruits and ugly vegetables or things that are just like a surplus to sell them to consumers that sign up for this subscription in order to reduce food waste. And uh, it's obviously the, a lot of the produce is supposed to be like a fraction of the cost. So I'm gonna put in the description down below exactly how much this ended up being. The box uh, itself it was about, I believe about $12 and with all the produce in it. And then also you have to add delivery fee on top of that, which was $5. So in total, my my box was about, I would say like $16. Uh, if 16 to $17, I think it was about 16. I haven't checked yet. But I'll, again, I'll leave that in the description down below. So the process goes that you go online and then you sign up for the subscription. You can do it either every other week or every week choose a small box which is a certain weight a medium box which is a certain weight and then a um a large box which is, they are all within a certain weight range so um i chose the small one because I'm, it's just me and my boyfriend that are going to eat it and um i kind of just wanted to like get a small box to test it out and see how small a small is and how long that would go for it. and so i have right now set for it to come every other week so how it goes is that you get a box of random produce every other week or every week, whatever you decide. And it can either be random or you can go in from Thursday at a certain time to Sunday at a certain time and customize what you, they have available and what you want to come in your box. So for now, I just got a totally random box because I wanted to see like what they would send me if I didn't customize. But for future boxes, I probably will end up customizing because I do like certain things, I get bored of certain things. So I kind of want to like see what they gave me, but I also want to like be able to customize, which I thought is really cool. Um, and then what happens is they, they send you a text message right before, about two minutes before it's going to be delivered. And then they'll send you a confirmation text message saying that it was delivered. So I got my confirmation text message today and it came in this like really cute little box. And then the box on top is like opened 
at the top. So I guess it's just to like let your veggies like breathe so that they don't rot or whatever in there. And then um, it says store your produce properly so it stays fresh and doesn't go to waste, which is the whole point of the company, right? Okay, so this is an unboxing of it and let's see what we got in here. Okay, so the first thing that I see when I open it is this little thing that says, I eat ugly because, and then you, I guess you write it right here, and then you take a picture and you put it up on their hashtag or you tag them in it. And it says, welcome to the ugly food movement. By eating imperfect, you're getting delicious seasonal fruits and veggies delivered. You're also joining the movement to fight food waste. The produce in this box couldn't be sold in stores because of how it looked. But together we can show the world that it's what's on the inside that counts. Thank you for eating ugly. Cute. Okay. Alright. So then this is like a storage guide that I've heard from other YouTubers. I've heard that this comes in all of your first boxes. So it just talks about like what should be on the counter, tomatoes, persimmons, persimmons? I never know how to say that. Avocados, peaches, limes, plums, whatnot. And then in the pantry, oh, watermelon, what? Okay. What's the difference between the counter and the pantry? Like, aren't they at the same temperature? That's kind of weird. And then, like, little fruits and vegetables that go in the fridge. Okay, so then, ooh, oh my gosh. <gasps> okay. I'm in love with like everything in this box, so I'm pretty happy right now. And they look good too. So the first thing that I, oh my God, I'm so excited. I don't know what it is about fruits and vegetables that like get me hype. Like I, I love them. Okay, so the first thing in here is like my favorite thing ever, tomatoes. And they're just regular grape tomatoes. And honestly, there's nothing about these that look like ugly in any way, so. I guess that this was just like some sort of surplus. And then, oh my God, an avocado! <gasps> okay, more tomatoes, and I love tomatoes. My favorite snack, honestly, is cutting up, and which I'm probably gonna do after, is cutting up tomatoes and eating them with salt. That came in like this little bag, probably just for to keep them fresh. And then um, I got some lemons here, and the lemons are not ripe yet, for sure. Like these will probably have to like sit on the counter for a few. All right, what else? Um, I think that this is like a mango, and I love mango, so I'm very excited about that. And um. I got some carrots, and it's really cool that we got carrots because I use carrots like every single week in my weekly meal prep for carrots. And then I got, I'm not sure if these are oranges or grapefruit. They might be grapefruit, but I'm not 100% sure. And honestly, there's nothing ugly about these. Like. Like, I mean, they have a few like scars you can see on it, but, and like a dent, but it's something like too crazy. Like I wouldn't be like, ugh. I would probably choose that at the supermarket. And then I'm assuming these are sweet potatoes and I love sweet potatoes. So yeah, these are sweet potatoes. And then I got some like not ripe avocados at all. So yeah, so these will like take a while probably to ripen up. And then um, I got, oh my gosh, okay, these are so funny and cute. Okay, so the bell peppers are like pretty rank. Like, I'm not gonna lie, like, like what is this? I've never seen a bell pepper like this in my entire, like, existence. But I think it's cute and I would use it for meal prep, for sure. So, oh, and then that's pretty much all, that's all I got inside of this box of produce. So I would say that this was, you know, I can't say 100% if this was worth $15 worth. I would have to like go to the store and look at like prices and kind of see. I know that these are really, really expensive, yet I, I did only get one. 
Um, and then I love kibbutz, so I'm really excited. And then I got, you know, I mean, I guess, yeah, all of this is pretty good for $15. Um, it's definitely enough for $12. It's just the delivery fee, which kind of gets you. Um, but yeah, I really like it, and I'm definitely going to be enjoying some of these, you know, things. Um, whether I cook with it, or meal prep with it, or... Like, I'll probably use this for dinner tonight, the sweet potatoes. I could eat the grapefruits in the morning, and this mango, like, looks like it's almost pretty ripe. And the tomatoes I can use all the time, and I'm gonna eat these right now. So, um, yeah, like, my review on it is pretty good, but I haven't tasted it yet. So, we will see how that goes. So far, I really like what I've gotten. Nothing is like too ridiculously ugly or like, ugh, I can't eat that. And nothing is rotten or anything like that. So you can tell that they really look to check to make sure that nothing is moldy or rotten. So yeah, this was a review of Imperfect Produce. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.